Over the last couple of years, Cedar Fair has been aggressively removing rides from their parks that have lost a lot of ridership over the years, or that they can't justify continuing to invest the money into their upkeep due to a variety of factors. Here, I am going to be taking a quick look at 11 of Cedar Fair's amusement parks and making my prediction as to which roller coaster I believe will be the next to get the axe at each respective park. Please note that I will not be discussing Gilroy's Gardens in California, as that is a park that isn't regularly invested in by Cedar Fair, and the park will likely remain as is for the foreseeable future, and its primary focus is on the gardens anyway rather than the rides. However, all 11 of their traditional amusement park properties they currently own are represented here, big or small. Here are my picks for each park. Enjoy. Starting off the list and going in alphabetical order by parks, we have California's Great America. My prediction for California's Great America is a pretty easy one for me. That is Grizzly, the wooden coaster that opened in 1986. I've been on the mirrored version of this ride at King's Dominion, and personally I found it to be a pretty fun ride, but I've heard absolutely terrible things about this, and many people consider it one of the very worst roller coasters ever built. I've heard it's very boring, doesn't do anything, it's sluggish. For California's Great America, Grizzly is definitely my first choice for what will be going next. Up next we have Canada's Wonderland. Canada's Wonderland is a really interesting case because they have a ton of roller coasters and many of them are pretty awful. So there's a lot of choices to pick from here. But when I really thought about it and looked at all of the options, I think one seems a bit more likely than all of the other ones. And I'm going with the 1995 Vacoma SLC known as Flight Deck. This was added in the Paramount years when Paramount was just slapping all kinds of cheap filler roller coasters all over the park. And they really amassed a terrible collection, but this is likely right up there as far as the worst in the park. So I could see Flight Deck being removed in the next few years. Next we have Carowinds, and Carowinds was a bit tricky for me, but I think Nighthawk will be removed in the not too distant future. I think we're going to get a few more years out of it, but these Vacoma Flying Dutchmans are not supported by Vacoma anymore, they're not making parts for them. Things are much harder to fix and repair on these now. We saw Cedar Fair close down Firehawk, which is the old Vacoma Flying Dutchman that used to operate at Geauga Lake. That is now gone. The future of Batwing seems uncertain at Six Flags America, as it rarely ever operates anymore, it seems. I could definitely see Nighthawk going at some point in the near future. Next up we have my home park of Cedar Point, and Cedar Point is really interesting. I made a video a little over a year ago discussing which coaster I think could be leaving next. A lot of my thoughts are still pretty in line with that I think, but ultimately I decided on something else as my final decision from what I said in that video due to rumors that have been swirling around recently, and it was really hard to pick one at Cedar Point because I think a few of them could be going soon. But ultimately I decided on the 1978 classic by Aerodynamics known as Gemini, the racing coaster that was a record breaker when it opened. Unfortunately this ride doesn't race a lot anymore. Cedar Fair has been removing a lot of Aerodynamics roller coasters and I love Gemini and I would hate to see it go. But it would open up a really prime piece of land. Um, a lot of people have mentioned too how back when Top Thrill Dragster was being designed, originally Gemini was going to be removed for, for Top Thrill Dragster, but Intamin was able to condense the launch and develop it into a shorter track to get it up to speed in a shorter amount of time. So Gemini was saved. Um, so Gemini could have been gone nearly 20 years ago, but it's still around. However, I do think its days are numbered at this point. Next up on the list is Dorney Park. Dorney Park doesn't have any coasters that I honestly think will be removed at any point soon. They removed Stinger a few years ago. Since removing that, all of their other remaining coasters I believe they'll keep around for as long as possible. But since I had to pick one, I'm going to go with their 2000 Wild Mouse coaster. It's just a basic Wild Mouse, nothing special. So if they ever want to make more room for a new attraction, the Wild Mouse would probably be the first coaster they would look at removing. 
Next up is King's Dominion, and I'm going with Anaconda, the 1991 Aero Mega Looper. As we all know, Vortex at King's Island was closed after the 2019 season, and a lot of these classic Aero coasters, once again going back to aerodynamics, a lot of these are disappearing, especially these Mega Loopers. They're becoming really rare nowadays, there's only a couple left operating really. And Anaconda has always been a ride known for being not very good. For me, it didn't really do much of anything, and I could definitely see it being removed in the next two years at King's Dominion. At King's Island, I'm going with Invertigo, which is a 1999 Vacoma Inverted Boomerang Coaster. The reason I chose this is because Stinger at Dorney Park was removed a couple years ago, and it seems like Cedar Fair is wanting to get rid of a lot of these older, smaller clone models and things like that that just aren't that popular. Uh, and Vertigo does not have good capacity, and they probably don't want to keep putting money into it to do any necessary repairs that may be needed. I think the fact that Stanger closed at Dorney Park could mean this could be around for another few years as they're probably using parts from that for Invertigo. But looking at another Cedar Fair Park, Knott's Berry Farm, they removed their standard boomerang coaster and fit in an awesome Gerslauer coaster known as Hangtime, and I think we could see Kings Island doing something like that as well in the future. I think Invertigo has at least a couple more years left in it, but I would definitely say it'll be the next to go at Kings Island. Next up on the list is Knott's Berry Farm in California, and this is one of the parks where it's really hard to say which would be going next because honestly, just like Dorney Park, I couldn't see any of these going at any point in the near future. They removed the boomerang a few years ago for hang time, which we just talked about. Since I have to pick a coaster here, I'm going to go with Jaguar, the Zier family coaster, which opened in 1995. Although, I still think this is pretty unlikely for a very long time. Moving on, we have Michigan's Adventure. This is the park that Cedar Fair notoriously does not invest any money into, and they haven't got anything major in well over a decade at this point. Michigan's Adventure has a few decent coasters, but one that is absolutely hated by basically everyone out there is Wolverine Wildcat, which is a 1988 Den Corporation wooden coaster. A lot of the Den Corporation coasters have been closed or turned into RMC creations, and that's for very good reason. They are not good rides, and I have no reason to believe that Wolverine Wildcat will be around for a whole lot longer. Next up, we have Valley Fair, and this one is super obvious to me. Excalibur, which is a 1989 Aerodynamics Mine Train Coaster, has been rumored to be getting removed for actually several years now, and unfortunately, whenever it does get removed, it's probably going to get replaced by a water park expansion from what I'm hearing as that plot of land just really isn't well suited for anything else. I would love to ride Excalibur, I think it looks awesome, so it's sad to say that it's probably going to be gone in a few years time, but with Cedar Fair's track record of removing these classic Aero coasters, and with age going against this one, I can't see this sticking around for a whole lot longer. Finally, we've come to the end of the list. The last park that we're going to talk about here is Worlds of Fun. This is one that was a pretty clear pick for me as well, and I'm going with Boomerang, which is just a standard Vacoma Boomerang model, which opened in the year 2000 at Worlds of Fun. As I mentioned earlier when talking about Knott's Berry Farm, they removed their Vacoma Boomerang and replaced it with Hang Time. I couldn't see Worlds of Fun getting a brand new major coaster in the next couple years. They rarely ever get any major rides, but it looks like Cedar Fair is trying to get rid of all these boomerangs, and I could definitely see Boomerang at Worlds of Fun getting the axe in the next five years or so. So, do you agree with my picks for each of these parks? If not, which roller coasters do you think are next to get the axe? This is always a very interesting topic of discussion as we look towards the future and begin to speculate about what may come to each park in the coming years. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more content like this on a weekly basis. I can also be found on Facebook as Coaster Daddy and Instagram as Coaster Daddy Official. I'll see you next time. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.